Alright, we're going to do the install on our new style of hinge kit, which is made for oversized fan bases. Uh, basically what we've got is a situation where they put a different style exhaust fan on an existing fan curb. So you can see that this thing's got a lot of slop, a lot of play in it. With the normal style hinge that you'd use for trip lock, you could do it, but the problem would be is when you shoved it up against the one side, it's going to give you a lot of overhang on this other side. So. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to reposition this thing, kind of center it back. This thing's basically got about four inches of overhang on each side. We'll kind of center it back on the fan base. And then it's just going to be a simple install the same way that our regular drip lock hinge installs. Now what's important to know is that normally we would tell you with our regular hinge kit, we would come up and we would go as far as we could to the outside of the actual fan base itself. Uh, what we need to do on this is, because of the design of these hinges, we need to actually line up the hinge to be in line with the side of the actual curve. So we'll do our regular, regular uh, install on these, just like a, just like a normal set of hinges. We're going to use our sense lock, with our bolts. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll set up this other side also. You see right here, I'm kind of eyeballing it, uh, making sure it's going to be square. And usually, what I'll do. Is all hand tighten these on to kind of get them in place. Okay? And then what we'll do is we're going to put an axle in that's going to run from one side to the other. The reason I didn't go ahead and sense these all the way down is I may need to play with it just a little bit to make sure that my axle is going to spin free. So I come from one side to the next. It doesn't really matter how much you overhang it because what we're going to do is when we get done, we'll actually cut off the excess of this rod. So I know everything's swinging true here. What I want to do is just pretty much do this just with a uh, with the regular press and carry some vice grips. On the side right here, it's important that whenever you're installing any of our drip lock hinges, the idea behind this concept of this hinge is, is that inside of this gap, it's actually squeezing or pinching together to bite this fan base in place, okay? So watch on this gap right here. As I start tightening this down, what we're looking for is is this hinge is going to start separating just a little bit. You kind of notice right in here, what we're looking for is about an eighth of an inch, okay? So I'm going to tell you guys, do not over tighten on these. Go back, double check it. Go ahead and cinch it down. These are basically our angle iron support brackets. What you're going to notice is you've got a hooped out end at the end of it. So you can do that so that these are versatile, they can either be left or right hand. All we'll do is we'll take this, slip it over, okay, and you can kind of see the way this thing goes up against the fan curve. Now depending on the fan base itself, not that you'd want to, but if a guy had to, he can come down here and angle these down a little bit. We're clear, so we're going to screw them in just straight up and square. Obviously, we're fixing to get this account on grease containment. Hands on doing their uh, their exhaust clean out. Uh, they're in dire need of that, so we're kind of doing our preparation here during the day, so we can kind of show you guys what we're doing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install some safety chains. A lot of guys ask us what length of the chain or how far do you want the fan to come back. I think the most important thing is is that when you're installing your uh, your safety chain, whether you come back, you know. 45 degrees, 90 degrees, it's really up to you on preference. My rule of thumb is, is I want to make sure that when I'm underneath this exhaust fan that it doesn't come back down from the wind or something. So I'm always going to tell you that once it kind of gets past the point right here, it'll almost teeter by itself. I like to go ahead and relax it on back. If you're a guy that wants to wash out the fan bowl onto some filter material or something, 
then you can let this thing go ahead and come on down. As long as you've got the electrical line that will let you do it, feel free to put it back as far as you want. Just like our other hinge, I always want to start off using the, uh, the hooped in of the chain. The big thing too is, is we want to catch on the edge of these, uh, the actual fan base itself. We want to put this as high up in the corner as possible. If you put this uh, back in through here, by the time you flip it up, what we want is we want the thing to kind of nook and tuck back in that corner so it's as strong as it can possibly be. Okay. And I use a guesstimate on this. Some guys kind of like to go 45 degrees. They'll take the chain and measure out to here. Okay. And they'll come back down to their fan and be about right there for 45 degrees. Kind of a rule of thumb. I generally know that on most of my hinge kits, I'll usually put my chain somewhere down in this area. Again, I'm going to hit the very edge of the actual curve itself because that's the strongest point. So usually what I'll do is I'll just set up one side. I usually know that I've got a little extra chain. Depends on how far I want to pitch it back. So I'll come in right about here. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and shut this fan off again. And I want to test to see about how far back it is. Okay, so a one-man operation, you could do this all the time. You really don't need a guy to hold your fan while you're doing it. So now, I'm going to lean back and I'm going to test the length on my chain to see how far it comes back. Our chain is already preset on the other side. So what we can do is we can come down and kind of take the tension off the chain. All right? So I'm thinking this is about where I want to be right down in here. Pick out my spot on my finger, but really what I'm trying to do is just kind of even off the tension, okay? And then I'm just cinching it down in there. At that point, I'm evenly distributed amongst the two. Shut it back down. Okay, at that point, we've gotten to the point where we've got our safety chain set, our support rods are in place, everything's cinched up. The only thing we really want to do now is, we always send you guys with a 36 inch piece of rod, obviously because the fan curves itself may vary. Pretty simple, all you have to do is hack down what you don't need. Really, a guy can be as chintzy as he wants to be with this. You can come in and put your caps on, catch it as far as here. If you want to make it a little bit easier, and you just want to square it up, cut it right in this area, that will be fine. That We're going to have caps on the end of it that are going to keep that, uh, that rod from sliding off, so it's really more personal, personal preference. I'd say make it easy on yourself. On this rod, I usually just kind of follow along right in here. Okay, once we got our uh, axle rod cut down, basically what we need to do is we need to put our end caps on there. Once you rough cut these, you're going to have some sticking out metal, so you really don't want to leave those edges just sticking out to cut somebody's leg or hand or something like that. We supply it with two caps that basically you just need to tap on. They can be a little bit cumbersome tapping them on, so what we'll recommend is coming in, maybe taking some vice grips. Kind of keep it so it won't slide off. Okay. At that point, we're fully installed. Try to take our time on this one. Probably took around, I'm guessing, 15 minutes to install these. Um, they'll get a little faster. Some of the things you're going to look for is number one rule of exhaust fans is going to be when you're putting hinges on them is where can you put the hinges? It really all depends on what side the electrical is going to work with you.